Hey, what's up guys? Mike Gunn here, back at you with another episode of Wake Up, Why of the Pines. Unfortunately, we don't have much of a show for you today. We did get 50 submissions that we needed to get Geobib back. However, that 50 wasn't enough. We did manage to get Geobib back to the set, but as you can see from these questions, I'm gonna ask her that things just aren't quite right. What is your favorite camp food? Toast. What is your favorite camp activity? None of them. What do you think about ceremonies? Unremarkable. What is your favorite heroic potential? Um, the resistance. Who is your favorite member of the resistance? Ego. What was your favorite village to be in as a camper? Oneida, because I was never in Oneida. What is your favorite camp shoe? Sneakers, New Balance sneakers, white ones that will get dirty. What is your favorite bandana or headband? Neither. Red section, green section, or white section? That at Aki, that part to the left, you know, where all the sticks wash up. That's where I like to hang out the most. Favorite element at the swamp? The water, cause it's dark like my soul. Favorite emblem you've achieved? I don't do emblems. Favorite camp memory? All the ones where I really shined and like did a lot for people. Um, not because it helped them, but cause it just kept proving like how great I am. What we need from you now is some more heartwarming, deep stories. These can be funny. These can be some of your amazing memories that we need to help get Gia Bib fully back to her original self. The perfect place to do all of this is during our virtual campfire tonight where you can tell some of those amazing stories about why camp is so important to you. The information for this virtual campfire is gonna be on our Instagram and Facebook pages. We still want you to share your stories on Instagram. You can comment on the post for this video or just direct messaging us of some of your amazing stories from camp. Now I'm gonna tell you one of my favorite stories from my camp career. I was at basketball one day to interact with the kids. There was this one kid who wasn't the best behaved but I wanted to get through to him and make sure he was following the core values that we live by so I went over to him at basketball pretended like I didn't know anything about basketball I asked him to teach me how to shoot a basket and then a few minutes later I got a call on the radio saying that I was needed elsewhere so I stood behind the three-point arch and I took one last shot. Whilst the ball was in midair, I went to answer that radio call and walked away. Little did I know, the ball went in. It was like Ray Allen took the shot and it went straight in for three points. And he was just there like, wow. And from that day on, like he respected me and he, I was able to get through to him and help him have a better time there just through giving him that responsibility that he thought he was teaching or something to me. So from that day on, I realized how, realized how much camp actually impacts the campers that we have there with us for the whole su summer and how we can make such a big impact on their life to improve their life for the better. Don't forget to write up your story attend the virtual campfire, send Charlotte an email that you want to tell your story, keep those whys high, have courage and be kind, and don't forget to have a great day!